What's up, gang? Uh, Summer Nam, 2015, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm with one of the real great innovators in this business. Been around for a while doing crazy stuff, Trev Wilkinson. Trev, how are you, man? Thank you, I'm great, thank you very much. Uh, Trev's responsible for a lot of uh, crazy innovations that have happened in this business over the last several decades, but um, in this case, you're paying tribute to a pretty innovative player as well, Jerry Donahue, and uh, tell me about this guitar you've made with his name on it. Yeah, um, it's. Um, we started working with Jerry a couple of years ago now, and um, Jerry had about three favorite guitars in his, in his arsenal, and he, he wanted to take the best sounds of every guitar and just put it in one, so that when he carried the one guitar, he could access all these different sounds. So he's got a mixture of sort of resistors, capacitors, super five-way switch, but you've got two pickups, but you've got five really, really different universal sounds. So in, in, uh, without getting too deep into it, what are some of the specifics about the values of the, of the capacitors and the transistors in there that make stuff different? So it's, it's basically all passive, so they're all filtering different frequencies. Yeah. Um, if we go to the switch in, in the front position, You've got a single coil, which is sort of reminiscent of what you would call an early strap. Yeah. It's 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 a low it's a low resistance. These are Seymour Duncan pickups, by the way. So Seymour's made these to Jerry's specs. It's a, it's it's an Alnico two in the front, quite low imp in impedance, um, and that will give you a nice, sweet sort of single coil sound, which I think Marshall can demonstrate for us. Yeah. And then his, his next favourite sound came out of a semi-acoustic that he had, which basically was a, f a neck humbucker. Now you look at that pickup and you go, no way in the world can you make that sound like a, a neck humbucker. But we put it in position two and have a listen. you got I know there's more sounds in there there's, there's another three to go yeah. so we get in the middle position now now you know there's when you got two pickups or three pickups on the guitar when you got two pickups on it in one go you're gonna get an out of phase kind of sound and everybody's got an idea in their mind what it is if you've got the double cut if you've got the single cut which will 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 call like a, a, a Nashville Chelly style guitar you've got a split between these two pickups and that has an out of phase sound and that's what you get there in that position okay recognize that is what it is and then if we move it back to position four we actually it sounds like we close the pickups together and get that kind of nothlerish kind of sound but we didn't move the pickups I can tell. yeah and then we come to the back and we just got a flat out broadcaster telecaster balls to the wall whatever you want to call it Beautiful. Now this isn't the only fret king you got here that does a thousand things. We also got this beast back behind us yeah, here, right? The, the, the Esprit 3, yeah. We, we, you, know, you know our philosophy with fret king. We like to try and give you a little bit more and what you get with, with everybody else. I like, always like to think that we can give you two guitars in one, okay? Yeah. You want to listen to the Esprit 3? We can do a little demo on that for you, okay? So this is a pretty sort of like, not outlandish, wild out there shape, but it's different, but it's kind of... It's what I call a friendly guitar. It kind of reminds you of something, but it ain't it. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know. What I mean? It looks a little evil. Yeah, it's not totally friendly. <laughs> a little bit scary, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And it's got a left-handed pegged on it, which is a pain in the butt, but it really looks cool. So we do it, you know. It's a rock and roll, isn't it? You got to be a bit rock and roll. So again, playing with 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 our philosophy of sort of giving you a little bit more. We'll just put all these knobs on full. We got a master volume. We got a master tone, and then we got the old vary coil here again. So in here we've got three P90 stacks. So we've got one coil stacked on top of the other. Now then, the P90s, everybody will know. If they don't know, we're gonna tell them. It has two magnets in it. It can have two Alnicos or it can have two ceramics. With ceramics, you're gonna get a lot of gauss. It's gonna get a lot of top end. With Alnicos, if they're overwound, it's gonna go really, really fat and I, I've invented this new word called woofly. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna- Wait, that was waffly? Woofly, do you like that? It's gonna sound woofly, okay? Right. So. What I did is I actually mixed the magnets. I've actually got an Alnico and a ceramic. Yeah. 
which means that when it's in its full sort of like humbucking stack mode, it's still quite tight sounding, but powerful. But then we wind it back to single coil, we don't have as much gauss as what you would have if you'd use two ceramics, so it still sounds bright, but it still sounds warm, and it still sounds like a single coil. And on top of that, so you've got a five-way switch as well. So you've really got a lot of guitars in one ear. So if you play it with this, we've got a front P90, we can go to a bridge P90. You want to give us that, Marshall, that bridge P90? So you can see how it's pushing the front end of the amp. You know, we, we've not changed any EQ, we've not used any pedals, we've not done anything. That guitar sounds completely different to the Jerry Donahue guitar. But if we do this... And we can gradually wind in that other coil. And it fattens up to there. Which means that if you go into this position here, you're back to Mark Knopfler. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> he won't mind. He, he got it. He stole it from somebody. <laughs> and then you can then you can take it to the front. Now you got a front single coil. And then you can do that. You're a junior. Darling, if you've got the gig, you want to get a lot of different sounds, you can only take one guitar with you, you know? Then we like to think that Fret King can do the business for you. It's kind of an obsession of yours, right? Like stuffing as much guitar into one guitar. I, you like that idea? I, I, I think if I've got an obsession, I, I, think, I think the obsession is to give a guitar player something that works. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and something that, that actually says something, but it doesn't make him learn a new way to walk. Yeah. You can't do that. Makes, it, makes sense to me. Right on. So you guys got a website, right? Uh, yeah, we, we, we do. We can go to um, RBI's got a, a website, fretkingvintage.com, I believe it is. Yeah. And then that can lead you also to the mother site, which is fretking and vintage at, at JHS. But the website that RBI have got it is all the stuff that's available here being launched yeah. so it makes it simple well, they just knock on your door there you go yeah, right. yeah. so these are all available now uh, yeah, vaguely um, I think the shipments on its way yeah. fantastic dealer response absolutely incredible we've always known we, we have got quite I think we've got quite a nice reputation in the, in the US yeah. it's like selling coals to Newcastle you know we're selling guitars back to the guys that invented the goddamn things right, right. but you know and, and I just think that's I think that's really cool yeah. Because you guys will buy guitars. Yeah. You don't buy decals, you don't buy headstocks, you buy guitars. So we feel good about that. And, and the dealers get behind it and they can see that we're actually offering something that has a reason to exist. Yeah. And I think if I have got an obsession, that's it. I want my guitars to have a reason to exist, not just to say, like, oh, that's a nice shape, I think I'll make that, you know. All right, Trev, one more fricking to go here. Yeah, you got it, yeah, yeah. Five string bass. Um, you're a five string player or you're not a five string player? I think. A lot of guitar companies are really, really scared about making a real five-string bass because they're kind of like looking at it going like, oh, is, it, is a five-string player going to buy this or are we trying to entice a four-string player? So they don't get brave about the nut spacing, they don't get brave about the width of everything. And I wanted, with this bass, I just wanted to sort of like do, this is a five-string bass, this is a real five-string bass. I'm sorry if you don't want it, but if you want a real one, then this is the, this is the bass for you, you know? we got our Nikos, um, it's, I mean, Rick can tell you, Rick's, Rick's a, a well-known national bass player, he's been around playing, his collection of basses is scary. And he picked this bass up and he just went, holy cow, yeah. You said what? I said, holy cow, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's got the real brass saddles, the, the proper steel plate to make it sound like the classic bass. And you get the P and the J, so you can go from the... right up to the old with an amazing B string and the perfect slap tone is all right there. It's all right there, great balance, light, nice, lightweight lots tuners. Lots of access. Yeah. Five bolt. Since you're the Batman, what does this cost? This thing is 1049 with the bag. A two, piece center joint, two piece center joint alder, one piece Canadian maple neck, Indian rosewood fingerboard. Right. Yeah. So Trev, how much is the guitar then? 1249 map. <laughs> Jerry Donahue? It's about 1150 map or something, isn't it? 
About only counts. No. Yeah. That's, that's $12.49 map, yeah? $12.99. Sorry. Gotta get on this trip. I don't get involved in the pricing. I just do the guitars. <laughs> you know? Let them build them. All right. Uh, we took care of the website. We can say farewell. So farewell from Nashville. Again. Marshall. The website you want to go to is fretking-vintage.com. Fretking do it. Later. Right.